Hello! I just figured I would show a quick little video as I'm in the middle of, well actually I'm finishing up my couponing organization for this week, and I wanted to show you what I've been using. It's working pretty well. Um, it is a mead, like almost like one of those trapper keepers back in the day it feels like, but not as bulky. It has a nice little pocket up front here, so I usually try to stick the coupons that I know I want to use in front, so I want to go shopping there right there. And then what I love about it is that it zips, so none of this can fall out. And then stuff like this doesn't fall out either, so that's really handy to have a zipper. I did see that a lot of people recommended that. The front part is an accordion, which I absolutely love because you can stick a whole bunch of coupons. For instance, like these that never expire. So all my Bed Bath & Beyonds, $5 and 20% off, I just stock up on them so there's no excuse to ever go buy anything at that store without your coupons. Another thing I keep up front, which I have to go through, is this year's Save Around the City booklet. If you haven't seen these or if you've seen them and didn't really know what they were, they are very, very useful because there's, even if you don't use every coupon, which is probably entirely hard to do, I would think, um, like all the fast food ones I don't ever use, but um, there's things in there for Dick's Sporting Goods, Brugger's Bagels, um, just a bunch of different places, restaurants, even Barnes and Nobles, Dunkin' Donuts, things like that. Um, I rip them out and I actually put them into a smaller coupon thing that I carry around in my purse, movie theaters. So I highly recommend these. They're usually for fundraisers through the schools or whatnot. $20. Great purchase. So for my binder, I first have, in the very beginning, the couple different stores that I typically shop at. Wegmans is the local chain that I go to at least once, if not twice a week. So I keep all of their coupons that they send me in the mail in this, and I just use one of those plastic sleeves here. I label it Wegmans. Tops is another grocery store that sometimes they have better prices. Um, it's just not that it's hard to get to Tops, but I just find myself going to Wegmans a little bit more. And lately I've been hitting up Walgreens and Target more so. Um, we do have a BJ's membership, so I do try to go there from time to time. I was going to do CVS, but I never go there. My biggest advice is to just pick a store or two to start couponing at and then work your way out. If you have time to go through flat flyers such as these, then you can start kind of divvying up your shopping sprees and saving more money. But start small. Whatever store you usually go to, start bringing your coupons there. It's kind of addicting. Once you save a dollar or two, you're going to want to save more. So I label each of these tabs. I started with Beauty. And to me, beauty was anything from makeup, and when I go through, it doesn't mean that I have to get all of these products. It's just, you know, if you're in the mood for new eyeshadow or you want to try a new lipstick, I don't let myself, or I try not to let myself buy something unless I have a coupon at a drugstore. And there are definitely some things that I just know that we won't use unless it's a typical brand, like that certain toothpaste, I think it's Colgate. Um, toothbrushes, you should never pay full price for a toothbrush. There's always coupons. And fun stuff like nail polish. Face wash. You know, I have my typical brand. I think it's Olay that I really like um, for their lotion. And maybe some of those um, cleansing cloths. I always try different ones if there's a coupon out for it. Depending on um, what I'm feeling like. My next tab was household. This one is looking a little weak here. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty stocked up on toilet paper, but uh, I try to keep, you know, coupons. There's only two brands that we like, so we're pretty picky about those. Um, Joe likes the little kid um, vitamins, which is kind of funny because he's 35. But not much going on in households. Food. Again, I clip whatever I think I might want to try, especially with these odd pregnancy cravings. So I've got breads. I try to keep it organized. Like this is my junk food pa candy page, which I don't really need anything on this probably, but if I wanted something, it's there. Um, salad dressings are handy to have to just marinate a steak real quick in. 
and then I just go through and whatever I see I clip and again I don't ever pressure myself to feel like I have to use these coupons clearly this is my entire pile of coupons that didn't get used and the way I look at it is look at all the money I did save by not buying the actual product um, so it's not like I'm out blowing the money because I have a coupon it's stuff that I really want to buy the next tab was baby I try to keep it organized by things that I might want to try to get for her. It's hard because I don't know what she'll be able to use yet. I'm assuming she'll have sensitive skin like her mother. But, um, you know, things like the breast pads and um, a Nook, Baby Depot coupon. It's just stuff that I'm not sure if I'll need it, but it doesn't expire right away, so I kind of hung on to it. Except for that coupon that's already done. Oh, actually, it's not. Okay. And then my last tab is for the dogs. And we're, again, very picky about what kind of food they eat. So there's never a coupon for their food. But there's only two treats that I really give them besides ones that I'll make. And that would be the Busy Bones, which are kind of expensive. So I always try to have a coupon if I do get them those. And then they do like their pepperonis. But... With all the crazy recalls and the weird stuff they put in the dog treats, I'm very, very, very picky about what the dogs get. Um, I'd rather give them cherries, or <laughs> cherries, <laughs> carrots or berries, um, not cherries, but uh, whatever, I'm making a salad or anything like that, they love vegetables, so. But I do have a little thing there for them. So, this is kind of a pain to remember to always bring. I have forgotten it on occasion and it really frustrates me because I hate spending full price on anything. But um, if that doesn't work for you, you could always try the small accordion um, that you can carry right in your purse, which I actually have. Pardon my mess here. As it's Monday morning and I'm trying to get everything ready for the week. My messy bag. My tongue's lovely. Okay. This is what a girlfriend gave me. Um, I go through one every year, it seems. This is how I started couponing. It is really helpful. And this, as you can see, how I started. Beauty, food, house. And that's how I kind of separated everything. Now, this is like my catch-all. This is what do I not want to leave the house without because if I don't have these and there's a deal, I'm going to be upset. So... I try to keep whatever coupons I can. Like that book I was telling you about, I ripped out all those coupons. They all expire this December, I think. So This one's not as organized. It doesn't even, like the beauty house food means nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. I just shoved everything in here. Like my Victoria's Secret coupons. Yesterday we stopped at Dick's, so Joe used, um, he saved 20 bucks off of something. So yeah, tons, oh yeah, I forgot I had this one. So, <laughs> um, it's just good to have, it's just, it's hard to remember all the coupons that you do have. Like I totally forgot we had this Dick's coupon that we could have used yesterday, but that's all right. <laughs> it's good for another year. So yeah, um, I don't know if that's very helpful, but that's how I keep things, and if you have a better organization system for remembering what coupons you have, please, please, please let me know, because I'm always struggling, clearly, with that. Alright, that's my couponing. Thank you.